Yeah, okay. Uh, good afternoon with all of you guys. My name is Alison Morito, and today I'm going to be your professor. Okay, in this opportunity, we're going to share with you a new topic, and it is about toxic chemicals uh, menace to beef and farmland. Okay, uh, so my classmate Diego Montenegro is going to present to you um, an activity to introduce the, the class. Okay, so pay attention to, to him. Okay, hello guys. Good afternoon. Okay. Okay. We're going to start with the first activity that is the warm up. The title of this activity is the B in the supermarket. Okay. First of all, I'm going to show you the instructions of this game. This uh, is this an easy game, PC. Okay, this is an easy game. Uh, first of all, the first student has to say the, this phrase. The B went to the supermarket and bought some products like. Okay, then the students have to say a product. In this case, oranges, okay? So, the B went to the supermarket and bought some products like oranges. Okay, then the second student says the same phrase plus the product that the, the classmate said before and add a new product. Okay, for example, the B went to the supermarket and bought some products like oranges and apples. Then continue with the third student. That is the same instruction. The B went to the supermarket and bought some products like oranges, apples, and in this case, uh, candies, okay? The four students have the same instruction, okay? Do you have some doubts about this game? We no. have to say this, those uh, fruits, or can, we can say another one? No, uh, these ones are, solo exa are, are just examples, okay? You have to say any product, okay? Can you hear me? Yes, we can yes. understand you. Okay, if you can hear me, let's start, okay? First of all, I'm going to give you a number, okay? Okay, George, you are going to be the first student. Okay. 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 I dare you are going to be the second student. Okay. Milena, you're going to be the third student. Okay. Alexita, you're going to be the fourth student. And Carlita, you are going to be the last one, okay? Okay, first of all, we're going to start with the first student and then continue in the same order, okay? When <laughs> students uh, don't remember the some products or they'll say the in different order, uh, the game ends, okay? So let's, let's start. Let's start, George. Okay. okay. The B okay. went to the supermarket about some products like noodles. Okay, let's continue. Okay. The B went to the supermarket and bought some products like noodles and watermelons. Okay, let's continue. Okay, the B uh, went to the supermarket and bought some products like noodles, uh, watermelons, and bananas. Okay, let's continue. The B went to the supermarket and bought some products like noodles, watermelons. I can hear my classmate. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Okay, let's start again, yeah? Okay, let's start with Alexita and continue with the same order, okay? Yeah. Okay. The B went to the supermarket and bought some products like grapes. Let's continue. The next student. 
Debbie went to the supermarket and bought some products like grapes and apples. Okay, let's continue. Uh, Debbie went to the supermarket and uh, bought some products like grapes, apples, um, chocolate. Okay, continue. Next student. Is it me? Yeah. I think it's. Uh, <laughs> Debbie went to the supermarket and bought some products like grapes and 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 apples. And I cannot remember the last one. Sorry. Okay. Okay, guys. That is the activity. Okay. We have to memorize the products. In this case, in the presentation, we're going to explain to you some details, some facts about the topic, and you have to memorize them. OK, so let's continue with Alison. OK, guys, good job in, the, in that activity. So the next activity that we're going to do, uh, it is about uh, different facts that we need to have in mind. So please uh, take into account that you need to take notes, okay, in a in a sheet of paper, okay, and try to take the more important details about this uh, about this fact, okay. So in the environmental, we have different um, a kind of of uh, different kind of uh, things that we can we can find here, okay, but. Toxic chemicals can prejudice um, between farmland and bees. Okay, so the uh, facts to have in mind are the following. The fact number one that is not in the line of farmland, we have pesticides kill important microorganisms to healthy humus generation. Okay, so repeat after me, Milena. Pesticides kill important microorganisms to help the humus generation. Pesticides kill important microorganisms to help the humus generation. generation. Okay, number two. Repeat after me, um, Aide. Toxic chemicals poison the soil and make it infertile. Okay, um, toxic chemicals poison the soil and make it infertile. Okay, number three. Um, Carlita, okay. The death of certain organisms in the soil can alter the structure of the herd causing erosion. Um, the death of certain organisms in the soil can alter the structure causing erosion. Okay, number one in the line of bees. Okay, so please, uh, George, repeat after me. Neonics are one of the most toxic classes of chemicals to bees. Okay, the neonics are the one of the most toxic classes of chemicals to bees. Okay, thank you. And Alexita, please repeat after me. Insecticides are more toxic to bees than fungicides and herbicides. Insecticides are more toxic to bees than fungicides and herbicides. Okay, herbicides. Repeat again. Herbicides. Good job. So, number three. All of you, please turn our turn on your microphones and repeat after me, all of you, okay? Poison from toxic chemicals could kill uh, 12,000 bees colonies in just two days. Poison from toxic chemicals could kill 12,000 bees colonies in just two days. Okay, thank you. So next, don't forget to take um, your to take your notes and try to memorize it because we are going to develop another activity 
in, in the process of this lesson, okay? So pay attention to the next activity. Okay, Diego, you can continue with the next slide. Okay, guys. Okay. This is the next, the next activity. The title of this activity is the topic of this class, Toxic Chemicals, a Menace to Bees and Farmland, okay? Okay, for this activity, uh, my classmate and me are gonna say a dialogue twice, and then we're gonna ask for you to repeat what we said. For example, first of all, we're gonna say the all the dialogue and then uh, the question and then the answer. For example, if I say the question, then I ask for you that repeat the question, okay? And the same happened with the, the answer, okay? So let's start with the dialogue. Okay, dear. So, do you think chemicals affect bees? Of course they do. They poison bees and it causes their death. Bees play a fundamental role in the food chain, since many plants depend on pollination to live. Okay. The next question, please. Okay, the next question. How do you think toxic chemicals affect farmland? farmland? Okay, these chemicals affect the plant's role make the soil infertile and alter its pH. OK, we're going to repeat again this dialogue, so try to understand and memorize what we are saying, OK? So, Diego, do you think toxic chemicals affect bees? Of course they do. They poison bees and it causes their death. Bees play a fundamental role in the food chain, since many plants depend on pollination to live. Okay, Alison, how do you think toxic chemicals affect farmland? These chemicals affect the plant road, make the soil infertile, and alter uh, its pH. Okay, guys. Right. So, the activity that we are going to do in this part is that you need to uh, repeat again the questions and the answers that we say that we said to you okay so we are going to to practice in in pairs okay so please yeah let me see Aide and Carlita you're going to work um, you're going to work in this part next Milena and George you're going to work Okay, and Alexita, you're going to work with us, okay? So, try to remember what was the first question. Who can tell me? What was the first question? Okay, first of all, for this, for this activity, we're going to say the, the question and then you as a students are going to repeat, okay? Okay, the question is, do you think toxic chemicals affect bees? So repeat, please. Do you think, uh, do you think toxic chemicals affect bees? Exactly. Good. Then we're going to continue with the, the with two students, okay? With the other students who are who participate right now? Who participate right now? Alexita. Alexita and George, okay. Who are the next students? Aide and Mile. Okay, Aide and Mile, you are going to repeat the answer, okay? Of course they do. Repeat. Of course, of course they do. Okay, of course they do. Repeat, please. Of course they do. 
Okay. They poison bees and it caused their death. They poison bees and it caused their death. Repeat, please. Uh, they poison bees and it caused their death. Okay. Death. Good. Now, bees play a fundamental role in the food chain. Repeat after me. Is playing a fundamental role in the food chain. Okay. Again, bees play a fundamental role in the food chain. Bees play a fundamental role in, in, in the food chain. Okay. Since many plants depend on pollination to live. Since many plants depend on pollination to live. Okay, good. Now, Carlita, you're going to repeat the question, okay, after me. How do you think toxic chemicals affect farmland? How do you think toxic chemicals affect farmland? Repeat after me, please. How do you think toxic chemicals can affect farmland? Okay, once again, how do you think toxic chemicals affect farmland? How do you think toxic chemicals affect farmland? Okay, thanks. George and Alexita, you are going to repeat the answer, okay? These chemicals affect the plant's growth. Repeat after me. These chemicals affect okay. the plant's growth. This chemical affects, affects the plants' growth. Plant growth. Make the soil infertile. Make the soil infertile. Make the soil infertile. Make the soil infertile. Okay, Make repeat after me. Infertile. Make the soil infertile. Make the soil, soil infertile. And alter its pH. And I uh, it's pretty Okay. So everybody, repeat after me. Do you think <coughs> toxic chemicals affect bees? Do you think do you toxic think chemicals you know? affect bees? Okay, once again. Do you think toxic chemicals affect bees? Do you think do you toxic think chemicals, chemicals affect, bees? affect bees? Yeah. Now let's continue with the next question. How do you think toxic chemicals affect Farmland. How do you think toxic chemicals affect farmland? Okay. How do you think toxic chemicals affect farmland? How do you think toxic chemicals affect farmland? Okay, guys, let's continue with the next activity. So pay attention. Okay. So in this opportunity, we're going to um, to practice, okay? Yeah. The same dialogue, but in this occasion, you have the opportunity to see the script, okay, about the dialogue. And the activity that we're going to do in this in this time is that you need to repeat again the dialogue in pairs, okay? For example, um, Diego and I we uh, express the question and the and the answer, and then he uh, uh, asked me the next question, okay? So you're going to, to do this activity. And, okay, Aide and Carlita, you're going to say the first question and the, the first uh, answer. And then Jorge and Milena, you're going to say the, the next question and the answer, okay? So we're going to start with, with Aide and Carla, please. I did. You're going to repeat the, the first question and Carla, you're going to say the next answer. Okay, the first question, uh, do you think toxic chemicals affect the bees? Of course they do. They, they poison bees and it causes their death. Bees plays, uh, play a fundamental role in the food chain since many plants depend on pollination pollination to live. Okay, very good. The next, Mille, you're going to say, um, you're going to ask to George the, the second question, 
and then George, you're going to answer the next, okay? Okay, uh, how do you think toxic chemicals affect farmland? Yes, uh, these chemicals affect the plants' growth, make the soil infert, uh, alter the, its pH. Okay, good. And who is missing? Alexita. Okay, Alexita, you can choose. What uh, question do you want to, to choose? First or the second? Mm, the second one is okay. Okay. So, how do you think toxic chemicals affect farmland? These chemicals affect the plant's growth, make the soil infertile, and alter its pH. Okay. This question um, about infertile, it's not like infertile. It's like like D T L to the end infertile. Okay. So uh, pay attention to this. So now we're going to change the positions, okay? So now, Aide, you're going to say the next, um, okay. If you say the, um, the answer, yeah, sorry, if you say the first question in the first line, you're going to say the, the second answer, okay? In this time. And uh, Carlita, you're going to ask to Aide, the the second question okay it is clear i have to say the second answer yes you need to say the second answer and carlita you need to ask the second question okay Okay. okay. Me? Do you yes. say that? Yes. Okay. So these chemicals affect the plant's growth, make this. Sorry, I cannot see. Make the soil infertile and alter its pH. Okay. We need to say the question first, but don't worry. Carlita, please, can you say the second question? Yes. Uh, how do you think toxic chem chemicals affect farmland? Okay, very good. So now, Mile, you are going to say the the, the first answer, while uh, George, you are going to say the the first question. Okay, please, George, you need to start with the first question. Okay. Do you think toxic chemicals affect bees? Of course they do. They poison bees and it causes their death. Bees play a fundamental role in the food chain since many plants depend on pollution to live. Okay, very good. Uh, we, need to, we need to correct something. The word since, after the, the word change, it sounds like since, okay? So, um, Alexita, uh, you are going to ask to me the first question, okay? So please. Do you think toxic chemicals affect bees? Of course, they do. They poison bees and it causes their death. Bees play a fundamental role in the food chain since many plants depend on pollination to live, okay? So now, uh, please, um, Diego, stop uh, showing the, the screen. Okay. Okay. So now you need to uh, remember what was the dialogue, okay? And we're going, we're going to, to see how do you recognize it, recognize it again, okay? And how is function your memorize, memorization, okay? So we're going to try to uh, remember all of the dialogue and you're going to repeat, okay? We're going to create new pairs to work about this. Okay, George and Aide, you're going to work in this part. And 
me, uh, okay, and Alexita and Carlita, you're going to work together, okay? And Mile, you're going to work with, 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 with me, okay? So first, Jorge and I did. You're going to take um, the role. You can say the first question, and then in the next, you can uh, answer to this question, okay? But you need to continue the dialogue, okay? So once, uh, who wants to, to say the first question? Me. Okay, thank you, George. You can continue. Uh, do you think toxic chemicals affects B? Mm, of course they do. Uh, they poison bees and it causes their death. Uh, bees plays a fundamental role in food change and sorry I cannot remember the next part okay, and change since many plants depend on pollination great yes. continue please continue with the dialogue, with the dialogue. The next question. Me? Oh, no, no. Uh, George and Aide, you need to continue with all of the dialogue, okay? Oh. First question, the next answer, the next uh, question, and then the last answer, okay? Okay. Okay, the next question is, how do you think toxic chemicals affect the farmland? You can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Well, uh, let me remember. These chemicals affects uh, the soil in farts and the plants ground, and also affects its pH. Okay. Very good. Thank you. So, um, Carlita and Alexita, you're going to participate. You're the next group, okay? So you're going to um, say the dialogue. All of the dialogue, all, all dialogue, okay? Who wants to say the first question? Um, me, uh, Carlita, do you think Toxic chemicals affect this? I can remember, uh, of course, they do. Um, poison, poison bees, it, it's called, they're dead, but I can remember. No. Okay, I just uh, say the same question. Uh, how do you think chem toxic chemicals affect pharma? These chemicals affect affects the plant growth and make the soil infertile and alters its pH. Okay, very good. Good job, guys. And the last person, it is Milena. Okay, so Mili, I'm going to ask first. Mili, do you think toxic chemical affects bees? Uh, of course, uh, yes, of, uh, of course they do. Uh, the poish, uh, they poison bees and it causes their death. Uh, also, bees play a fun fundamental role in in the food chain, and I don't remember the last part. Okay. How do you think toxic chemicals affect farmland? Oh, do you want to ask to me, or do you feel comfortable? 
uh, answer in this question? Uh, the answer is uh, these chemicals affect uh, the plant's growth, uh, make the soil unfertile, and and may and make soil unfertile. Okay, very good. You you uh, you did a good job using your memorization. Okay, so now can you continue with the next slide? Okay. Okay, and this is your part. You can okay, continue. Guys. This is the second activity to practice. This the title of this activity is asking for facts. OK, if you took notes and uh, before activities, uh, this activity is easy to do it. OK, OK, in this slide, you can see some words. Those that are keywords for each fact. OK, also you have some pictures that can help you to give an, give an idea what is the fact. OK, we have three facts for farmland and three ones uh, for bees. OK, so please. Uh, first of all, I'm going to tell you a number, OK? For example, one farmland, two farmland. That is the, uh, the number of the fact. And also one bees, two bees and three bees. That is the order, OK? So please see the keywords, OK? Look the keywords. We have pesticides, inferior, inferior or infertile, neonics, insecticides, erosion, and kill, OK? So please see the pictures, all the pictures in the left and at the right, OK? So for you, well, let me see. Uh, George, you you are going to be the number one for farmland. Alexita, the same. The number two for farmland, number two. OK. Mille, you are going to be the number one for bees. For the fact number one for bees. OK, Carlita, you are going to be the number two. OK, for bees. And what happened the next student? It said that is waiting. I don't know what happened. OK, so please write the, the fact in this chat, OK? I'm going to show you the screen. So you have an uh, idea. And write the facts in the chat, OK? In the Teams chat. Do you have any question for this activity? I already wrote uh, my my what well, my note. Can you okay. check if, if I am correct? Check. Okay. Okay, here's the one. Okay. Pesticides kill important microorganisms, okay? Okay, they're writing. I'm going to show, show you the screen. So remember that you have here some keywords that can help you to write the facts, okay? The facts 
uh, for farmland and bees. Those facts are the negative impacts by toxic chemicals, okay? Okay. Mm, teacher, okay. I was my question in the okay. chat. Okay, number two. Toxic chemicals might infertile soils. Okay. Let's write in the chart. Okay. We completed the the facts for farmland. Okay. Let's remember that at the end of the sentence, put a period. Okay. Okay, George or Alexita, please help me with the third uh, fact from bees. The third, the third fact. Okay. Please help me with that. Okay, Millie, thanks. Here is your answer. Number one for bees. Neonic is one of the toxic classes of chemicals that kill bees. Oh, that is dangerous, right? That's so sad. Okay. We are waiting for Carlita. So remember and see the pictures here. One picture describes the fact, each fact, okay? For farmland and bees. Remember that toxic chemicals are negative, has, toxic chemicals have negative impacts in farmland and bees. Okay. Poisons could kill 12,000 bees colonies in two days. Yeah, that is a fact, okay? That is a fact for the third. Okay. We are waiting for Kalita. Maybe she has some problems with their, with her internet. I don't know. Yeah, of course, she has a problem. Um, her internet is not working. Okay, who can help me with the second fact about bees? Who can help me? Please write the fact in the chat.
Insects are more toxic, okay? Insecticides are more toxic to bees than fungicides. Okay, thanks, George. Thanks, Mili. You are right. Okay, you are right. Insecticides are more toxic than fungicides and herbicides for bees. Okay, so George, could you read the first fact about farmland, please? Okay, uh, let's say the important microorganisms. Microorganisms. Okay. Pesticides kill important microorganisms. Okay. Okay. The second one, please, Mille. Could you help me reading the second fact about farmland? Okay. Toxic chemicals made uh, in fertile soils. Okay. We have a mistake here. Chemicals. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Mille. So the third one, please, Alexita. Could you help? Me? Would you help me reading, please? Sure. The death of certain organisms in the soil can alter the structure of the earth, causing erosion. Okay, everybody can repeat the third one about farmland, please. Please repeat the third one. Cool. <clears throat> okay, here's the third, the third, okay? The third, the number three about farmland. Please the repeat death everybody. Of, the death of certain organisms in the soil can alter the structure of the earth, causing erosion. Okay, thanks, Mile. Okay, please, Alexita, could you repeat the first one about bees? <clears throat> Neonic is one of the of toxic classes of chemicals that kill bees. Okay, thanks. Okay, who have? I don't know. Carlita, are you there? Yes. Yeah, okay. Could you repeat the number two about bees? Bees in insecticides are more toxic than uh, fungicides and herbicides for bees. Okay, thanks. Now, George, the last one, please. Okay. Uh, from far farmland or bees? About bees, please. Three. Potions could kill. To, no. 2000. Bees colonies in two days. Okay, poison could kill 12,000, okay? 12,000 bees colonies in two days. Okay, so guys, so let's continue with the next activity, okay? So pay attention. This is the next activity, that is the evaluation, okay? Okay. So guys, in this activity, uh, we have here a roulet that you have different questions, okay? So who wants to be the first one to be evaluated? Who say me? <laughs> I need to choose or I have a volunteer? Me. Okay, okay, please. So the first one is Milena. So please, can you spin the, the roulette, Diego? Of course. Okay. Let's start. And the first question is, <laughs> okay, how many bees could toxic chemicals kill? Uh, poison from toxic chemicals could kill 12,000 uh, bees colonies in just two days. 
Good job, Mille. The next one, let me see. Alexita. Okay, you can eliminate the, this, this question. Okay, spin the roulette. And the next question is, what are the negative effects of the toxic chemicals in farmland? Okay. Uh, uh, poison the, the soil and make soils infertile and kill so many microorganisms are the negative effects of toxic chemicals in farmland. Very good, good answer. Thanks, Alexita. The next. Um, let me see, George. Okay. Yes. You have the third question, okay. So, what is the bee's role in the food chain? What is, yeah, okay, let me think. Mm. I think, can, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think uh, bees, firstly, play a fundamental role in the food chain due to a uh, and they pollinize the plants in order to they can reproduce and grow up uh, and produce as you know the food okay thank you and the last one uh, carlita okay spin the roulette again we have we lost connection with id but don't worry Okay, Carlita, this is the last question for you. How does soil erosion occur? I think the death of certain organisms in the soil can alter the structure of the air causing erosion. Okay, very good. And we have the last question. Okay, so who can remember this question? Mm, let me see what it says. I can, I can read. Okay. Give me a second, please. Okay, it says, what toxic chemicals are the most harmful for bees between insecticides or fungicides. Who can remember this? Insecticides are more toxic. Exactly. Very good. Good job, guys. Thank you. Continue with the next slide. Okay, guys. Now we're gonna ask the same questions, okay? We have the same question for you before to continue with the last activity, okay? Okay, let's reset the app. Okay, now we're gonna practice and continue with the same questions. Okay, uh, now you have to tell me um, more information about this, okay? Information that you could have in your mind, okay? Or maybe some facts or some ideas that you have about each question. Okay, so let's start with this 
for George. This is another question for you, okay? What toxic chemicals are the most harmful for bees between insecticides or fungicides? And why? Yeah, uh, the most dangerous or the most harmful is insecticides due to this kind of poison are specialized in killing uh, this kind of animals like insects, you know, bees, uh, war earth, or, you know, flies, and that kind of uh, butterfly, I think, also, but I don't know, I don't know. But uh, fungicides are specialized in another order of plants, which use, you know, that maybe most rounds or or the, the ones who uh, sticks and plants, I don't remember the correct name, but in that way, Insect, the answer is insecticides. Okay, thanks, George. Let's continue with Mille. Tell me if, if it is a different question, okay? Or maybe I need to change the questions. Is it a different question for you? Yes, it is fine. Okay, Mille. How many bees could toxic chemicals kill? Mm -hmm. mm, toxic chemicals uh, could uh, kill uh, about uh, 2,000 bees in two days. Because uh, these uh, chemicals are um, so toxic, and it could um, it could uh, kill a lot of uh, a lot of bees, a lot of um, uh, not uh, just uh, bees. It could uh, kill other kind of insects too. Oh, thanks, Mille. Good answer. Okay. Alexita, so please heal, help me. But first tell me if this question is different, okay? Mm, yes, it's a different question. Okay, thanks Alexita. How does soil erosion occur? Okay, erosion occur when the microorganisms inside the, the soil death uh, uh, this action produced that the soil structure change and they infertile the soil, uh, making it impossible to grow plants or any kind of vegetables and vegeta vegetation. <clears throat> okay, thanks, Alexita. Carlita, are you there? Yes. Okay, this question is for you, okay? Okay, let me see. What is the bee's role in the food chain? Mm, bee's role is a, fun, a fundamental role in food chain because um, it depends in many plants depends of pollination to live. Okay, thanks. Now, who can help me with the last question? This is the last question. Okay. Let me see that I can see the questions. Okay. What are the negative effects of the toxic chemicals in, in farmland. Who can, can help me with this question? Can I answer? Okay, please, George, help me. 
Okay. What are the negative effects? Well, the, actually, there are a lot of effects, negative effects to use a lot of chemicals. Uh, we can say that, you know, have you ever listened about uh, toxic, toxic rain? Uh, when a lot of chemicals uh, are in the air and the uh, normal rains become toxic. Another negative effect is that uh, year by year, the, the lands are, are less productive than before. You know, uh, they become infertile. Uh, also, another negative effect that is the taste of the products can change or can reduce the quality of that products. As you know, they become less natural, maybe. Okay, thank you, George. Okay, now let's continue with the next activity, okay? So pay yeah. attention to my classmate, to my colleague, Alison. So let's continue, Ali. Okay, thanks for your participation, guys. And now I'm going to say to you the, the task, okay, that you are going to develop for the for the next class. You need to um, try to remember the dialogue and practice again it, okay? Because you need to you need to know this perfect for the next class. So the task is that you need to practice practice with your partner, okay? And the next class, we are going to 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 see a uh, whole uh, the results about this activity. And I have the last question for you, okay? And it is about how was your experience in with this lesson? And I want and I want to to hear different opinions of of you, okay? Uh, we're going to start with Carlita. What uh, what was your experience? Okay, I think it. Uh, could you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, I'm sorry. I think that the uh, your question uh, was about experience. I'm sorry, yes. my time. Yeah. <laughs> to repeat again how was your experience with this lesson uh, okay and um, this lesson was very interesting because the activities uh, were about a uh, repetition and it could help us with our pronunciation and grammar and also listening and i think it is uh, um, they were a good activity they were good activities Okay, the same question for Alexita. What is your opinion? Okay, this class for me was very interesting uh, and so um, difficult in some parts because memorization is uh, a light, difficult activity, but it's interesting and I enjoy it. Okay, thank you. And George, how was your experience? Yeah, it, this class was very interesting. I enjoyed it. I, at the beginning, it was a little difficult because uh, memorization is uh, a little difficult for me. But as you know, uh, you after some repetitions, I I can I could uh, get it. Uh, also use my knowledge to analyze and respond in better ways the the dialogues um, and also I can learn a lot of you know uh, toxic chemicals um, well I am pretty sure that participate in your in your, clay, in your classes um, yeah, and that's it. Okay, thanks. And the last one, Milena, how was your experience? 
Okay, for me, it was a very interesting activity that, um, that the activities that you um, shared with us was very interesting. Also, uh, it was kind, uh, we have to memorize a lot of things, but in, uh, in some aspects, it could be better for us to memorize important facts in order to use them or, or to memorize them, uh, in order to make aware, uh, to have awareness of uh, about the use of chemicals into the crop, the crops, or uh, or how they affect to the bees. Thank you, Melina. Okay, guys, I hope you can acquire this knowledge and I, I appreciate your, your attendance for this lesson. And it was, a, as, as I said, it was a pleasure to be in this class and thanks for it. Diego, okay, guys, <laughs> so, so please, thank you for your attention. So please remember, take care of the bees take care of the environment, so please don't use pesticides, insecticides in our plants. Um, in this way, it could help our environments, okay? okay so okay. thank you guys, thank you for your attention. See you and bye-bye. You can leave the meeting, right? Thank you, teachers. Bye. Thank you, teachers. Bye. Bye.